Breaking news now on celebrity attorney Michael Avenatti. A federal grand jury in Manhattan has just indicted him in two alleged schemes, one involving his former client Stormy Daniels. CNN national correspondent Sarah Seidner has interviewed Michael Avenatti, and you now have the, this scoop. Uh, we know that he's already been charged in several financial crimes, including that, that whole Nike case. What are the latest accusations involved? So the uh, government, of course, had to put forward the uh, official indictment uh, before the end of the month. When it comes to the Nike extortion case, they're accusing Michael Avenatti of extorting Nike uh, for more than $20 million. Uh, that is one case. What is new and unexpected is this other charge, two charges, one of fraud and one of aggravated identity theft. Uh, that involves, as they call it, victim one, who turns out to be Stormy Daniels, uh, we have learned. So th that indictment indictment involves a book deal uh, that he had uh, brokered for Stormy Daniels. You'll remember uh, the book. It was called Full Disclosure. Uh, Stormy Daniels published that book. It was a story of her life, uh, but also the story of what happened between her and then uh, Donald Trump in 2006 when she says they had a sexual encounter. And she described in detail what that encounter was all about and what happened after that. Um, and so in that book deal, according to uh, the, the prosecutors, Basically, they are accusing Michael Avenatti of they taking money that was supposed to be given to Stormy Daniels in the very beginning of the book deal, $148,000, and having that put into an account uh, of his that was not shared with Stormy Daniels. Uh, they are saying that he misappropriated that money. They called it fraud and they called it identity theft because they say that he signed documents uh, with her name that indeed she was not aware of and did not herself sign. That is the accusation there. And of course, Michael Avenatti has responded immediately uh, to these particular new charges. Uh, he also talked to me about the Nike charges last month. Let me read you first what he has put out both on Twitter and sent to CNN. Uh, mm -hmm. He said, look, I look forward to a jury hearing all of the evidence and passing judgment on my conduct. At no time was any money misappropriated or mishandled. I will be fully exonerated once all of the evidence uh, and relevant emails and contracts and text messages and documents are presented. He also sent me this just a few seconds ago that no monies relating to Miss Daniels were ever misappropriated. Uh, she received millions worth of legal services and we spent huge sum in expenses. Brooke, I want to play you uh, just a short uh, part sure. of a, a very long in-depth interview that I did with Michael Avenatti in April. We asked him specifically because Stormy Daniels, as you know, has said that she was treated dishonestly uh, when it comes to Michael Avenatti. She recently said that after the two of them split and their relationship ended. Um, I asked him about that and I asked him about how much money he made off of the deal. Here's what he said. Did you lose money? Oh, there's no question I lost money. I mean, we lost millions of dollars by taking this case. There's no question about that. Millions Mil of dollars. Millions of dollars. Stormy Daniels didn't pay us a bunch of money. We crowdfunded, raised some money for expenses and the like. We lost millions of dollars in connection with this case. I would have been far better off financially if I would have never taken this case. Now, it was bigger than that, and it still is bigger than that. So you heard him talking there about the amount of time spent. You will also remember that a lot of the time uh, was also spent on networks like ours. He did a lot of publicity, a lot of talking about it. And I asked mm -hmm. him, look, didn't you get as much out of this uh, as Stormy Daniels? Maybe not monetarily, but certainly publicity wise. He said, yes, I got a lot of publicity, but that doesn't pay the bills. Uh, mm -hmm. So you hear there about money losses. The prosecutor is saying, yeah, he might have lost money. We don't know. What we do know is they're accusing him of taking money that was not supposed to be his and then being dishonest about it with Stormy Daniels. Brooke? I hear him saying he'll be exonerated. We'll wait for the facts to speak for themselves. Right. Sarah Seidner, thank you very much.